Perhaps the most underrated professional wrestler in the entire world. Making his way to the ring right now. What Jonathan Gresham may be giving up in stature, he more than makes up for in terms of skill. I've seen with my own very eyes Jonathan Gresham defeat. I thank fans from all over the world. Joining us on Fight TV. Takeda to not want to uh, shy away from the showmanship. You take a look at the mask, you take a look at the entrance garb, you take a look at the hair. And then you take a look at the carved up body. This is gonna be a styles clash. first in the red corner, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 177 pounds, the octopus, Jonathan. Warm ovation for one of the fastest rising stars in wrestling, DC. His opponent in the blue corner, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. Weighing in at 202 pounds, Masashi Takeda. I get the feeling, DC, Takeda didn't get those scars doing amateur style wrestling. Yeah, I know. This is going to be probably the biggest styles clash of the evening as Takeda coming from a deathmatch wrestling background and Jonathan Gresham learning uh, pretty much every style of professional wrestling in parts of the world. I didn't know that they had professional wrestling. So this match announced with a 20 minute time limit. Wow. About a 30 pound size advantage for Takeda. But don't let those scars fool you. If he can keep up with Jonathan Gresham, he may not just be one of the most celebrated deathmatch wrestlers in the world, he may be one of the most celebrated wrestlers, period. Without a doubt, and when you look at the scars that cover his complete body, you know the man has no fear in him at all. If you can't scare him with barbed wire and light tubes, you certainly are not gonna scare him with amateur style wrestling. MMA, call it what you will. Well, Gresham is uh, eternally overlooked. And, you know, again, due in part, Due to his size, I feel like a lot of times his opponents feel maybe that, how do, how do I want to say it? I, you know, I'm having trouble finding the words right here. Takeda not having trouble finding counters. Well, Gresham is just so great and it's it's like pound for pound, he's arguably one of the greatest guys competing, competing in the world today. But we can say that with the vantage point of, of sitting here doing commentary from the stage and not sharing the ring with him. Yes. And you have to wonder what kind of mindset Takeda comes in knowing, yes, I'm 30 pounds heavier than this guy. Is it going to be a walk in the park? No, but maybe underestimating his skill. Absolutely. You can't judge a book by its cover. I think that's uh, perhaps the best way to describe Jonathan Gresham. A hundred percent. He's earned that name Octopus, though. It's almost like he's got eight sets of tentacles. But I'm very impressed with, with uh, our, our deathmatch star here is really coming through with that. It shows you he has that amateur background and fundamental skills. Jonathan Gresham trying to keep control of that right leg. Maybe trying to take the kid off his feet by sweeping it. That's the thing about Gresham, it's hard to call his matches because you never know what he's going to be going Literally. For. I mean, uh, you know, bringing the foot all the way up in the air to the point where Takeda had no choice but to fall down on his own accord or else he was going to get knocked down. And that was a very innovative maneuver because it, 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 it equated that balance of size between the men. You know what I mean? Once you're lifting someone's leg up like that and getting them to the mat, there is no 30-pound weight, weight advantage at that moment. Gresham now trying to find a way out. It might be easier said than done. Yeah, it looks like his head is mostly trapped, although it looks like he just popped it out. Takeda's is in a bit of trouble here. A potential submission predicament, maybe. Could be. Could be a quick ending here. 
They're close to that cor that edge of the ring, but not close enough to stop it. At least not yet. Again, it's going to be up to the official's discretion. Uh -oh. As far as I'm concerned, that should be it right there. Oh, God. The pressure almost falling on the floor. It's going to land on his head. Make him let go of the hole, ref. Referee hesitating there for a moment. You can't hesitate, man. These competitors' lives are in this referee's hands. Again, with competitors from all over the world representing different countries on today's uh, event, you know, th there is always the possibility of a communication barrier. Of course. Absolutely. Such a unique atmosphere here, just taking those ropes down and letting these guys compete on that canvas here before a sold-out crowd as part of the first annual Monumental Collective. An amazing series of shows coming to you over the next few days on Fight TV. I mean, Joey Janela, spring break, so big. It's going to see two nights of action. And they probably could have done a third if they wanted. They could have just done 12 Joey Janela spring breaks. They're saving that for Christmas, the 12 days of Joey Janela. Oh, right up the other side, oh, all the way to the oh, floor. Oh. Now the referee certainly didn't do his damn job there. Hello? <laughs> referee. Referee shook, and we got some blood. Takata's busted open. Referee's going to get it back in. You're not, you're not going to see a victory on the floor. Oh! Referee seems scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, this is a bad situation. This is getting out of hand very quickly. Those it's almost like Takeda's uh, uh, almost lost where he is. He, he can see his blood. He can taste his blood. And it's almost like it's triggered him back into that death match mentality. Absolutely. And that does not fly on this event. Gresham trying to cover up as best as he can. This is just turned into an ugly fight. Not much technique right now. Wow. Gresham, though, finding a way. Takeda's out of his mind right now. His temper is getting the better of him. He's going to lose this fight. He's almost got the benefit of, wrestle, of getting wrestled to the ground so he can try and collect himself. Absolutely, to calm down in a sense, if he can. Get your head back in the game. Only five minutes in, we've seen about 15 minutes worth of action. Of course, not all the fights contested under time limits. But again, this is such a difference in styles. A deathmatch wrestler against one of the best technical wrestlers that's ever walked on God's green earth. Crowd rallying behind Takeda, whose blood is now staining his platinum locks. Do you think that Takeda's gonna be able to go the distance? Can he go another 15 minutes at the rate of this blood loss? Well, Gresham keeps targeting that eye. Oh, holy shit. Gresham. Just raining hammer blows on that eye. Is the referee blind? What is going on here? Takeda's in a lot of trouble, DC. These deathmatch guys are cut from a different cloth. These guys are sick. Yeah, normally for any other competitor, I'd say they wouldn't be able to continue. It's, a, it's an unfair advantage. They shouldn't even be allowed to compete in blood sports. <laughs> it's a fair point. Deathmatch wrestlers are the craziest. And GC Dub has no shortage of them. Referee just continues to pour like a faucet out of the eye. And now there's going to be vision problems from Takeda. He's going to have problems with depth, depth perception. He couldn't even see that kick coming from the left side. And oh now, what a combination out of Gresham. Gresham lighting him up like a Christmas tree. Oh, oh, fuck. That's it. Holy fucking shit. Referee finally doing Colin, his job. Colin. Ring the bell. Get this madman the hell out of Come here. Come on, ref. Mitchell did the right thing. He jumped on Jonathan Gresham to protect him from Takeda. But he needed to signal for the bell because regardless of what the official's doing, Takeda's instinct is to fight until he hears ding, ding, ding. Absolutely. It's like a Pavlovian reaction. I, I, I do not envy any of these officials here today. I mean, Takeda just starting his week and his eye is gonna be swollen shut for the rest of his time in the United States. Very impressive victory for Takeda. It was a great showing for Gresham, but in the end, man, he got got and he got got hard.
Now things starting to settle, the heat of the moment dying down. You do see the respect between these two competitors. 